most difficult visual effect shots we've ever done. We need precise help with this. Quiet on set! Hold, 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 hold. Break an ankle, break a wrist. Trim Tech 2, the sequel to our now most viewed video of all time. First one was the zombie meat harvester. This one, they're crafting a zombie killer motorcycle machine. Boom, the guys from Super 73 come by our studio and they're like, hey, we want you to trap these mini bikes, they're electric. We need them to make us a stripped version that doesn't actually have pedals or chains on it. When you want to shoot this? I'm like, oh, two weeks. He's like, ah. Okay, you ready? Let's reveal it. Dude, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, good to see you. Here we go. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Me too. Thanks for putting this thing together, man. Of course. You ready? <laughs> Natty reaction time. Hey. this up. Oh, oh it's so nice. The foot pegs. Look at these handlebars. Yeah, oh, nice. dude. <laughs> these foot pegs here are also bolted on so you can remove them. Oh, that's suspension. Wow. Dude, this is a cool looking little mini bike right now. Yeah. Perfect. This is incredible. Ruroc likes our stuff, and so they handed us one of these really sweet looking helmets. So we got the Primtech bike, it looks super sick, but with Primtech videos comes some of the most difficult visual effect shots we've ever done at Corridor. There's one shot in particular where I essentially build the bike frame out of bamboo sticks. There's so many things going on in this one shot. It's gonna take hours. Hopefully the lighting stays consistent for us to actually be able to use all the plates that we shoot, but we honestly won't know until tomorrow. Everything, everything's good to go. Pretty much. You hear the sound of that? That's the sound of Jarrett working on the, 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 the art that's not done yet for tomorrow. I'm about an inch down. Yeah, it's because it's starting fires every time I drill into it. <laughs> it's smoking. Yep. I even tried to dig out some and then get going again. But use your arms real strong in that grip because I don't want this bit ripping on me. It hurts. <laughs> here, here. Yep. Woo. See, it's done that to me a few times. Yeah! Break, break an ankle, break a wrist. Unexpected problems. <laughs> Let's try the other bit. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's sharper for sure, it looks like. Yeah, this one. Good, because okay. I was really worried. Yeah, take it slow. Yeah. We're going for two inches, yeah? I was concerned last week. I had, I sort of had a panic attack mid last week thinking that we wouldn't be able to get all this done in time. We worked our butts off the last couple of days and now Jarrett's putting the finishing touches on some things. Making these red tires look like intestines. It's 7 a.m. We've got everything ready. The bike's done. The builds are ready. Let's go see how this all comes together now on set. So, okay, it's no surprise. Well, obviously the Primtech videos and the Meemaw video are related, right? How could they not be? Like we're wearing the same costumes. They're both apocalyptic. Kind of realized, okay, this is actually happening after the Meemaw video. Meemaw origins. Meemaw origins. <laughs> Welcome to Primtech 2. We're shooting these shots in that weird backwards order because we have lots of plates that we're gonna be taking and compositing. Once that camera's set, it's just trying to minimize anyone walking on the set because any little movement or difference in shots could potentially make things difficult for us. Last time was really, really fun. And the video was really cool and everyone on the internet Net liked it, so hopefully this uh, recreates a little bit of that magic. Also, uh, let's be mindful of like everyone's safe. <laughs> There's like a knife in that box. <laughs> um, if we ask you guys to do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing, just be like, nah, that's okay, and we'll figure out a different way to do it. Um, especially for the zombies. So, did you see that, guys? Dude, he almost fell with an open inside. knife in a box. Look, there's a bunch of spikes on the ground, and I have to be barefoot in camp. Are they actually spikes, or is it stinging nettle? They're spikes. You know when you fall into a pit and there's spikes? It's like, it's like micro spikes. They're baby like micro super spikes. Tiny. It's called stinging nettle. I hear it's not that bad, though. It's terrible. Like, I, I hit my wrist on it trying to clear a trail and it was miserable. Son, you're overthinking this. No, 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 I think it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> you make Wait, an actual why, you, why do you have this part? You do not need this part. No, no, it's gonna be perfect. No, what are you, that's gonna restrict that's so much, much motion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, hold this on, is, go, this go, is go, the go, worst out, 
Just get towards safety, your artery, first. safety first. Safety dude. first, dude. Son, what are you doing? Son? Shoes, dog. This shoes, dog. As a man who had to run around in nothing but socks for an entire video, let me give you a small piece of advice. Stop what you're doing. Take a take a marker. Outline your foot. Put the cardboard on the bottom of your foot. Secure it, and then cover the tape with leather straps. It works. I'm really worried about Clint. You guys making a forest? Yes. Making a bamboo forest. This is um this is how God did it. This Creating is, a bamboo this. forest. Yeah. In the middle of a non-bamboo forest. I got this uh, exhaust. So to simulate smoke, you're gonna use this smoke bomb? The idea, Jake, is that we're gonna be able to pull it from a ripcord. I don't know how strong this is though. Apparently fire's gonna come out of these ends. <laughs> yeah, not much time, but enough for a shot. We got a bunch of them. We got like 12, so. Out of jank comes glory. I'm trying to delay as long as possible putting on any sort of like zombie makeup. <laughs> Plenty of blood and dirt. Your first victim has arrived. Yeah, I'm zombie number uh, two, actually. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got my zombie face on lock, though. <laughs> Have you ever played a zombie before? I have not played a zombie before. It's right. uh, pretty new. I got kind of excited. <laughs> I just feel like a sultan over here. Do I look good? You're next, Ren. We've actually gotten two takes already. I've officially been nettled. And you're okay. And it stings like crazy. Hooey! Action. Yep. Rolling. And action. Perfect. All right, we're good, uh, light-wise. And action. Action. So, um, this video takes a lot of composition, meaning lots of different plates. You're doing a lot of different shots that stack up on each other, and so things can't change between the shots, or you're gonna notice the difference. You need like that kind of perfect overlap. So if it's shadowy in one shot, it's not gonna comp with the sunny shot. So basically, whatever the first shot of the plates are, whether it's overcast, we have to commit to the rest of the plates being overcast. For this specific sequence, we're committing to overcast, so every shot has to be overcast. Waiting for a little overcast. The next one could be all sunny. Um, it just really depends on the weather and the clouds. Rolling. This is for real. One take. Hold on. Cut. Done. I'm gonna just, look at the clouds. Just got bright clouds. again. Right now, yeah, we're good for a good chunk. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Yep. Rolling. And action. Hot. Hold. 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 Cut. Quiet on set, please. You look dead. Dude, I feel alive. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Show me your zombie face. Come on. It's weak, weak sauce. Ah, dude, I like threw out my neck last time I played a zombie. And I was doing all like oh, all this stuff, and then I was like, ah, ah. have at it. I remember how much of a of a ordeal it was, was last time. She's giving me veins. I'm gonna be so strong. Oh God. Boo. It wasn't the makeup. Oh, that's fine. It's the hair gel. Yeah, dude. In about an hour or so, it's gonna harden up to the point that it's like super hard, like a basically a helmet. Like, I, I can be like riding my one wheel and like crash. Whoa, that primitive technology time machine really works because now we're in the Middle Ages. So now it's time to tell you guys about something special we're doing here at Corridor called the Tournament of Champions. For the next four videos, the episode sponsor of that video will have two members of the Corridor crew fight for the right to represent that sponsor in a final tournament of champions to be determined at the Spring Festival. Now it's rumored that King Sam II will be in attendance himself and will determine the champion right then and there. So in this episode, we have two knights, Sir Nico and Sir Red. Put this the other way, put that the other way. Sir Red is new to fighting. <laughs> and they're gonna be fighting today for the right to represent Lady Audible. That's right, today's episode is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Audible. Let's commence. I I really want to win. This is my true love. Ren, believe in yourself, but I'm going to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> and let the battle for Lady Audible begin. <laughs> Come on, Nico. Sir Nico. Ah! <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
In celebration of that first point, I just want to say that you can get your first book for free when you try Audible for 30 days. Let's go to audible.com slash corridor crew or text corridor crew to 500, 500 Now we think the Tournament of Champions is special not only just for us, but for you, and here's why. If you're already signed up for Audible in this video, leave a comment. If you sign up for Audible because of this video, leave a comment. Because if Audible wins in the final Tournament of Champions, we're going to be going back and picking one person from the comments and giving them the rest of 2019 free for that service. It's on us. Commence. A subscription also gives you access to Audible Originals, which are exclusive titles from some of the world's most celebrated storytellers. Let's go again, Nico. Where's my helmet? Commence. I would never survive the Oh, God. <laughs> Audible gives you an unmatched selection of audiobooks. Unlike a streaming service, you own your books. Just like I'm owning Ren. Well, the next one's for the win, boys. Round four, begin. <laughs> Go to audible.com slash quarter crew or text quarter crew to 500 500. He's obviously the champion of this tournament, so he'll be representing Audible in the final tournament. But before he does that, remember to leave a comment if you're already using Audible or if you sign up using this video because you could get the rest of 2019 for free. Nico, what's your book, man? My book recommendation is Stephen King's 11.22.63, a time traveling story about the assassination of JFK and a man trying to stop it and the consequences of is, such an event. Wait, does it involve time, time travel? History? It does! We better get back to that Primtech video, boys. <laughs> Since this shoot is very camera setup oriented, Sam and Clint will sit there, set up the camera, talk about exactly how they're gonna work through a shot. There's a lot of time before that to get all the art that we need in place. The shots themselves are so composed that each one is sort of its own artistic composition. The shot, four people. It's freaking crazy. This is like probably the most advanced shot we've got in this whole thing, man. Really? Let, me, let me walk you through it. Okay. So basically, I come here, I draw a blueprint of the bike frame in the ground with this spear. Wow. I grab pieces of bamboo, throw them down into position. That position. It's not gonna be thrown down exactly like this. So once I throw them down, I leave frame. For some reason, we have to figure out, we have to justify why I'm leaving frame. As I leave frame, we come in and perfectly drop these sticks and we get we record plates of all these sticks landing. I come back in to frame, it'll just be like a second, right? I come back in and from here, Let me explain, let me explain. The first shot, which is not hard at all, is Clint steps in the frame, he draws a blueprint of this thing he's going to make, steps out of frame, we hide a cut, blah, blah, blah. anyways, a bunch of bullshit happens, you don't need to worry about it. Shot two, we start with a pile of sticks on the ground in a similar configuration to this. They are gonna be loose and not bound, like this. He, he goes through and pretends like, he acts like he's binding them all together, he runs out of strips, and he's gonna walk over here and steal my shirt and convert this into cloth strips. He magically binds them with cloth strips. When he applies his last cloth strip, it magically turns into the full bike, okay? In order to do this, what we're gonna do is something that's a little complicated and we need precise help with this, okay? Because it's all just, again, stacking shots on top of each other, composing them to be one shot, but a lot of things going on. Looks like we're gonna go with overcast because it's easier, but right now we're lacking our class, so. All right, we're overcast for a good show. We are very much in clouds, definitely. Here we go, let's do a take. We only get one shot at this. Rolling. Yeah, action. Let's do this. 
Everyone hold, so Jarrett's coming in. Derek's coming in. Watch your shadows, everybody. Watch your shadows, clear the excess ones. Yeah, Jarrett, you got that wrap right there on the spray. And three, two, one, drop. Great, next, next one, solid. Okay, hold it still for me. Nice and smooth. Okay, okay. clear your hands. Give yourself some distance from the top rod, Jarrett. There you go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Perfect. All right, guys, hold it. And then now, uh, Jarrett, I need you on to, to guide. Yep. Perfect. So just, yeah, pick up it's all that. Basically right on the left. All right. That's convenient. It's great. It's great, yeah. Looking good. Uh, back it this way an inch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, clear. Three, two, one, go. Still Good rolling. Woo! Cut. Nice. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? There's no take. Yay. Good job. Teamwork. There's no take two. You only get one shot. Yay. Good work, guys. That was the most complicated nice. shot we're going to shoot today. I just got Woo. dirt right in my face. Yeah. <laughs> my clap right there. <laughs> well, another video done and in the can, as they say. So we're going to take this back into the lab and see how it all cuts together. See if what we thought we were creating on set actually matches what we're intending to do in post. We'll be doing at least one video on the process of how we actually make this thing come to life in post. So stay subscribed if you're not already, because that's coming up. And also huge thanks to Super 73 for hooking up the awesome custom made electric mini bike.